about just a couple seconds ago. Let me see. It was three minutes ago, so it should just be getting started here. Let's jump into that one. See what I got going on over here. And it actually just has begun, guys. So we're jumping right into it right now. This is Aristina's team. Celta, Mini, Fluid, The Hellacious, Jim Battlemaster, and Lord Mater. Uh, going up against... Who is this? This is... Who is... Oops. This, this is accidentally famous, I believe. Uh, currently trying to... Aristina... But going into the middle fight now, where we have already begun, and I do have to know if I... Actually, I'll do it later. Uh, but... Accidentally famous right now, holding pretty strong on this middle point. Actually, we are going to be having track, track go down in just a second here. Fluid to Hellacious, we try to come in for the stop. Please keep in mind, this is Pish going up against, um, Accidentally Famous over here on the red, red side, whereas, um, Pish is supporting the blue side for the time being. I'm going to jump over here to Aristina's point of view, as they try to force the other members of the red team off this middle point, and it does look like blue team is going to be getting control over this point. Blue team grabbed yeah, the they capture move point. themselves on from here. He's doing a pretty nice job on this. The pitch does have control of two set points for the moment, and they actually have pushed their thief over here, Jim Battlemaster. Once again, the, the decap master over here. Just trying to move in over here, trying to get the, the mind point away from his teammates. He's actually going to be retreating now. And actually, no, we're going to have the other members of Pish push into this as well. They're going to push for the full 3-cap, which I usually don't agree with, but it's, I mean, it's a valid strategy in order to stop him. Um, but again, because they chose to go for that 3-cap, they're going to lose their close point, as Track has managed to sneak himself over there and decapture that as well. Back over here, we have... The point is actually... The fight is actually off point, I and mean, you don't see the, pos the positioning of the fight ever be there. Uh, so looking at right now, if I could get his name. Oops, a woo. Just took it down, Jim Battlemaster, as they try to make him pay for his crimes of back capping. He's going down right now, but at the same time, Oops, Yosh has been taken down here as well. Uh, Wu is going to try to come in for the uh, res, which I think both of them are going to get off successfully here. They do get a Wu up first, so uh, Jim Battlemaster is going to be a bit of trouble, and Celta Mini actually took a beating from that, from that AoE there, so he's going to be knocked down here as well. Misforming just in time, trying to get new... Actually, you know, going to separate himself from Jim Battlemaster so that they both get, aren't susceptible to that AoE damage here now. Um, as Mater tries to come in for the res, unfortunately, he's going to go down here, and in just a second, we might see Battlemaster go down as well. Back over on any other points, so we don't really have any action, so we're going to stick to this right now where we are having blue team sort of trying to they, i think blue team's kind of wanted the spawn camp uh accidentally famous but it sort of turned against it now lord mayor has been taken on and this guys is the perfect example of why i don't agree with going for that third point um, especially in this early in the game um because of the fact that right there what we just saw they they had considerable pitch had considerable amount of control of two points um because of the fact they decided to go on to mine First of all, they were deep, they were back capped, but second of all, they lost a lot of people now, and because of this, they're going to be at a serious disadvantage here at this middle fight. Fluid to Hellacious is already low, and we could see that DK go off right now. So, in, like in, in the matter of that, Blue Team has lost all their resources because they decided to take a risk. And while it sometimes pays off, in my opinion, it just, just like that, isn't Blue Team really worth it. Um, we do have Blue Team finally getting back their close point here now, um, but unfortunately, they have seemingly lost red. There's not a lot of reinforcements coming in for this in just a second. Back over here at the mine, see what we got going on over there. Karasuki, currently fighting Aristina and Necro, trying to keep him off the point right now. This blue team tries to work their way over here to mine, actually going to shift their priorities as there are people over at mine already. Good. Kex at the moment, taking a lot of damage to the Guardian, as um, as Jim Battlemaster tries to come in to counter that, but Jim Battlemaster himself has taken a lot of the AoE burst for the time being. Oh my goodness, but Kex gets just destroyed by the Elementalists there, um, Seltham. And also they took out the Elementalists in the process there from the residual AoE, it's a crazy amount of damage that just went out there. So Kex, not only Kex, but a Wu is going to be down as well. And if we get the map here, we are going to be seeing the Engineer for the Red Team once again, trying to go around the back to decap. However, he is going to be met by Fluid Dehalacious in just a second here. So he is going to be forced to one one. Will be a free decap like it was the last time. I got the keep that. Let's see if there's any remnants of the fight. And no, there is not. So everyone's just I think going to be falling back to Henge at this point because there's a fight around out through up there with Yosh. In addition to the uh, engineer, in addition to the engineer track coming in to help us like as well. That. Blue team takes a capture point. But Yosh and Track at the moment currently taking on Fluid to Hellacious, doing a nice job of dodging a lot of that AoE actually there from Fluid to Hellacious, but is going to be pulled into a corner here. And Seltham Mini, there might be a big AoE burst coming in here just a second, and once again, this AoE from from Seltham proves to be successful as he just destroys Track in one swell swoop, taking him down. Fluid's going to come in for the stop now, and Blue Team will be holding two points. Blue Team at the moment at 197 points, Red Team down at 173 points. Now it is close, and actually Fluid actually lost the uh, close point because Track is doing a pretty decent amount of damage from Downstate. Uh, but he's going to get that back in a second, so Blue Team will be having control of two points with 209 points. And we actually have a bit of a counter engagement here on the on the Chieftain. Yosh was taken out there, so we'll go to Blue Team. There's no one else with the Red Team in sight in order to contest that. Back to keep that, we do have some contestion as two members of Accidentally Famous currently are taking on Lord Mater. Let's go over to Lord Mater's point of view here now. See how he holds us off. All the, everything's on cooldown except for his virtue. So he still has access to this uh, virtue resolve, which can regenerate a lot of health. 
Um, but other than that, he's, he's pretty much out of cooldowns right now. But luckily for him, he does have his teammates coming in, so he will be able to survive long enough in order to get that. And in addition to just killing the boss, he's going to have that 50 point boost to his, to his toughness and vitality, which will help him out. Not by, uh, not by a huge margin, but at the very least, say it'll help him out a little bit. Seltham Mini did go down the process, though, from the AoE. Lord Mater just getting him up. Actually, like, no, almost getting him up there, but he's going to pop the Mist for him now as he comes back up there. A Wu at the moment also went down here because Aristina came in with a lot of that condition damage, and a Wu, unfortunately, is not going to get rest up. Kex is in a tough spot as well. He does have Track coming in to support, but with just two people from Accidentally Famous here and Blue Team having three full people here, it's going to be tough, to say the least, in order for, uh, in order for Red Team to get this successfully. We have Kex going down now. It's, it's seeming, and this is another issue as well, that this is another issue as well, is that because all this is happening, they might be leading a... Um, actually, they might be getting a big panic here, and they're just sending people in one by one. That... that... But they actually, no, they... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth on my decisions here a little bit, but... Red Team actually did a pretty nice job of that. Um, they turned that around pretty nicely, so good job on that. Back over here at the Henge, we are about to have that get decapped by a Wu, so they'll be sneaking that away. And back at mine, let's see what we got going on over here. We got a bit of a 1v1 just between Jim like Battlemaster that. and Yosh. And Jim Battlemaster more. just won that. Let's take a look at how much. He had about, he had about I think he had like 500 health left, so very nice of my Jim. So he's going to get that full cap for his team. Back at the keep, though, the fight is still in full swing as Lord Vader is holding on strong. He's getting kind of low at the moment, but he's still holding on pretty nicely. Uh, Karasuki is going to go down here now for accidentally famous. As Lord Mater comes in for the stomp, we'll get it off successfully, which will give Pish once again the advantage. So Pish right now up by about 128 points with one counter point, two if they're going to get this one in, the, in, in their favor at the moment. Back at the mine, uh, one of their catch points is actually being contested as Yosh and Track come in here to take down Jim Battlemaster in one fell swoop. Uh, Fluid Dehalash is now coming in to try and stop that though, as he is down. Uh, more than likely, Jim will go down. Unfortunately, it is pretty hard to get your Steve up, but they actually did get him up there as I believe... How did, actually, did he get up? I believe that... Oh, they used the Healing Spirit there, I think. Uh, so they weren't able to get Jim Battlemaster back up and into that fight. And as well, Track goes down there, but they're going to use the Illusion of Life to bring him back into this now. So he's going to be in this fight, taking a look at Yosha's point of view now, who's holding on as a mess. We haven't looked at him yet. Does have his Temporal Current and all that still available, so a lot of utility that could still come out from him. Also has the Mo if they want to try to polymorph someone and disperse them down pretty quickly. But it's full on team fight here at the mine. We also have another 1v1 skirmish going on at Hanjin. We'll check on that in just a second. Taking a look at how it's going fluid. The Hellacious is getting pretty low. Pretty low characters on both sides. Track about to get knocked out. Jim Battlemaster is suffering from condition damage at the moment, and he's going to go down in just a second too. Fluid the Hellacious down as well. So this could go pretty bad for the blue team if they don't if they don't uh, if they don't shape up pretty soon. And Blue with the is going down now. Seltha Mini about to go down as well. So it does look like this point it's going to get flipped in favor of the red team now, which will give them the two cap and start them on their way to um, to coming back. We're taking a look at a Wu's point of view now, who has been taken out by Aristina. So that point is also going to flip. So um, Pitch actually doing a pretty nice job at holding themselves up. But oh my goodness, Lord Mater, look at those conditions. Whoa! Pretty much almost every condition in the like every condition in the rainbow there on Lord Mater. Unfortunately, he's gonna get knocked out there. Back at the keep, also that the has been flip capped as it was left open. So Yosh is gonna be able to steal that away. Blue team is only a hundred points away, but they've lost all of their capture points. Henge, I think they're slowly gonna no, they're not even gonna get that back, unfortunately. And actually, no, they are gonna be getting that for this uh, back as soon as they kill a trank here. So blue team will be getting that one back. And they'll start their way up back up, but they have lost two of the points they controlled, unfortunately. Now their boss Red is up as well, so they're going to try to snipe this down point. really quickly here. Going to fluid the Hellacious point of view here. Blue I don't think any congestion is within point. range here. Track was just killed, uh, so he's not going to be able to contest that unless they try to send someone over there real quick. And as well over here at the, um, if I can get to a point of view here. Let's see, sorry. Oh, there it is. We do have Spawner being sort of engaged here. Now this is something that a lot of teams are doing now as well. Um, when... The team that owns the side of the boss realizes that there's someone they're trying to contest. They usually hold off on engaging it until they can get rid of the enemy. Um, but Jim Battlemaster is still here, and oh no, he wasn't able to steal that, unfortunately. Uh, didn't come in there quick enough, and he, as he was held back there for quite some time. So blue team is going to be able to get, or red team rather, is going to be able to get that boss, and is not going to push blue team that much closer to the win. But nonetheless, I do think we need to see red team pushing for that 3 cap if they want to come back into this. Only 40 points, which would be about 80 seconds now, if blue team wants to win this one. Uh, Jim Battlemaster is actually going to be falling back down to Henge, which once again is about to get decapped. Jim Battlemaster might respond to this one. No, he's actually just going to let this happen as Blue Team chooses to focalize it, focalize a little bit more onto the middle point right now. And looking at Seltham's point of view here, has just gone down as Kex tries to come in for the stop. It does get knocked back there, so he's going to pop the miss from him. They try to do what's called a, uh, what's called a mid, sort of a knockback stop. Um, where they can knock the player back and stomp him while he's in the middle of that, so he can't respond to that, use any abilities, but he was still, it was a little bit missed time, so they were still able to do that. And oops, a woo now going down. Kex trying to stomp him, or Kex trying to res him, rather. Trying to get him back into that fight. That's Jim Battlemaster. Tries to come in and deal the damage necessary. But the ticker has ended, guys. 
500 points has been reached for the blue team. So they are going to win this one. So congrats to Pish.